Are you feeling overwhelmed planning your dream trip to Peru? Well, you're in luck. It's Garrett from Exploring with Lauren, and today I'm going to guide you through an unforgettable 10-day Peru itinerary designed to take away the stress and help you make the most of this magical destination. In this video, we explore Cusco, spend a night under the stars in the breathtaking Star Lodge, and conquer the legendary Inca Trail on our way to the awe-inspiring Machu Picchu. And this isn't just an ordinary travel vlog. I'm gonna show you how to make the most of your time in this country, including the logistics on how to get from place to place. Hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and let's dive right into our ultimate 10 day Peru itinerary. We flew from DFW to Miami, Miami to Lima, and Lima to Cusco. It's Cusco. Our travels to Cusco were anything but smooth, but- We are hopefully going to Peru. Maybe. Stick until the end of this video and we'll tell you that side of the story. We chose to stay at the Palacio del Inca, a historic mansion built on Incan temple ruins, and now it's a hotel conveniently located near Cusco's main attraction. Since Cusco is over 11,000 feet above sea level, we took it easy on arrival day to acclimate and avoid altitude sickness. Our first day in Cusco was a blast. After starting the morning with cocoa tea and breakfast, we headed out to explore the city. We visited Saxe Woman, a stunning Inca ruin site. All right, we're headed up to Saxe Woman, and I would be lying if I said that we weren't feeling the altitude. And explored Plaza de Armas, the central square, which is surrounded by historic buildings, shops, and restaurants. In between the exploring, we had some chance to eat some delicious food. Let me tell you, Cusco has some of the coolest restaurants in the world. Here are a few that we recommend. Day two in Cusco was all about that food. We ease into the day with a lazy morning before heading to the San Pedro market to explore and sample the local foods. We're at the San Pedro market. It's this massive shopping area with everything from fruits to breads to meats, anything you can imagine. And it's pretty busy. So we're buying a bunch of stuff for our cooking class with our guide, and then we are gonna go back to the studio and cook it. So it should be fun. That evening, we participated in a cooking class where we learned how to make traditional Peruvian dishes. Whose looks better? This one or this one? <laughs> Day three was an adventure. We hopped in a van from our hotel in Cusco and headed to the Star Lodge in the Sacred Valley. Picture this, you're sleeping in a pod, hanging off the side of a cliff. We've got a full video about the Star Lodge, so if you're curious, check out this link and join us for an unforgettable experience. Hello, this is Lauren and Garrett in Pod 6. We're coming down. Okay guys, please don't forget, always sleep with carabiners. Copy, see you soon. Let's go. All right, let's go. It's really scary. Uh, I'm really scared of heights, it was fun. Like I had a great time, but going up in the dark the for the third time was uh, pretty tough. So I'm glad to get in here. I'm not gonna leave until tomorrow and then I'm gonna get down as fast as possible, so yeah. <laughs> On day four, we were set to visit ancient ruins and the salt flats, but fate had other plans. We ended up walking for about three hours from our cliffside star lodge to our hotel in Yurubamba. And boy, was it an adventure. But that's not even the half of it. You have to watch the full video to hear the whole backstory. Despite the unexpected turn of events, we still had an amazing day exploring the Tambo del Inca, sipping coffee at local shops, and savoring a delicious dinner. The hotel was gorgeous, but we'd recommend staying in Ollante Tambo instead because there's more things to do. And just when we thought the day couldn't get any wilder, we were picked up and literally smuggled to our campsite to start our hike on the Inca Trail. Days five through eight were spent hiking the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu. The stunning beauty of the Andes Mountains, the ancient ruins, and breathtaking scenery made every step worth it. The Inca Trail was challenging with its ups and its downs. Like, what's the weather about the weather? But the reward of reaching the iconic Machu Picchu was priceless. I'm so happy. We highly recommend hiking the Inca Trail, and we've got a full review video and packing guides to help you plan your own adventure. Don't miss out on this unforgettable experience. On day nine, we were exhausted from all the hiking. We rode the Vista Dome train back to Oye Tetambo, and from there we took a bus back to Cusco. We decided to hit up the spa after the hike to adequately recover and shop for souvenirs for our friends and our family. Day 10 was our travel day, which we were flying back home to the United States with memories of a lifetime. Okay, so time to be 100% honest about the experience. Our Peru trip was insane. We had it all planned out perfectly, but then the unexpected happened. We are hopefully going to Peru. 
Maybe. The LATAM plane wreck in Lima airport shut down, not to mention some of the largest protests in Peru's history, threw a wrench into our plans. Uh, oh, farmers wow. are striking in Yurubamba, so we are walking from the Star Lodge back to our Yurubamba hotel. It's like a three hour hike. Um, we're just walking on the main road. Yeah, we're just walking on the main road, trying to be respectful. But did we let that stop us? No way. We worked with some amazing vendors to make quick modifications and still enjoyed the things we were most excited about. We got picked up from our hotel at 10.30, or no, 9.30 p.m. It is now 11.30 and all the roads are blocked. All the protesters are having a fiesta. I'm not feeling too confident that we're gonna get past any roadblock, but. Sure, we missed out on some awesome spots like the Oye Tantambo ruins and some incredible restaurants in Cusco. But setbacks aside, we had an incredible adventure with our family and we are already planning our next trip to Asia where we'll explore Taiwan, Japan, and South Korea. Make sure to subscribe and join us for the ride.